Hey, what's up guys, Jeremy here. In this video, we will learn how to split and merge 3D objects in Robotiki. This is a great method to import a full assembly and split it in the different objects you need to animate in your simulation. Let's get started. For this video, let's start with an empty station. We can open here under 05 3D models, 05B split objects, and we have basic objects.stp, so step, and we have linear rel.stp step file. Here, if I'm just gonna bring my basic object. Well, the basic object is pretty much just a simple solid with two curved surfaces, and then uh, the rest are simple flat surfaces. So five flat surfaces and two curved ones. Here in our station tree, we just have our basic object. If you right click on it, you can select split object. If you press on this one, you will see here a bunch of smaller icons appearing with some kind of cylinder. So here the main objects in RoboDK are represented by a blue cube and the component of these objects or the faces are represented by uh, this kind of 2D uh, representation of a cylinder. So now if I was to select any of those one by one, you can see which surface is selected. It goes the other way around too. If I select them in the 3D environment, it will select the right one in my station tree. So just like that, I could decide to kind of hide half the 3D model and just get and I just get kind of the shell in this case here. If I bring that back visible, now they, they are here. I can then decide to select some of those, let's say select the top curved surface, and then I can merge them to create a group of surfaces. So merge here. You don't necessarily see it very good here, but you have a small plus sign here on top here showing you that this one is a group and not just a single object. Then you can right click and then convert to object. It will go back to the kind of blue cube icon that you can bring to the station origin here. So just like that, now here you have two objects. You have the curved surfaces and you have the rest. If I just merge all of this here, it will go back to the basic object here. So just merge, I just have now two objects. So I can split one object in different pieces. Then I can remerge those pieces together to create bigger group or, or yeah, groups of surfaces. I can also merge objects together. So I don't, I can merge pieces of the objects, but I can also merge the objects together. So if I select those two here, uh, right click and then merge here, you have basic object and it's exactly the same thing as we had when we started this example. By the way, it's important to remember if you merge two objects together, if you select, I selected the first one, press control, selected the second one, and then right click merge. If you do so, the object uh, that you will be left with at the end of the result of that merge will have the same name as the last object you selected. So here, let's say if I go split object, Let's create a merge here. Let's convert to object like that. And let's merge this here. And let's call this one, I don't know, test. If I select basic object, control test, release control, right click merge, it will be called test here. That's great. So I can delete this one here and show you another example a bit more complicated. So here you have linear rail. So if I bring that linear rail here, it will take a few seconds to load. It's a bit bigger. Okay, so this is a rail from Lucas Robotics. Um, in the next module, I will show you how you can create your own linear rail and your own mechanisms. But to be able to do so, you need to have the different components that will move with respect to one another in different pieces. You can't have those in just one bundle. So we need to actually actively split that 3D model. 
First of all, just that 3D model alone, 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 sorry, kind of cost me about a third of the frames I have available. So that's a bit uh, problematic. So I'll go for, I'm going to select it. Here you can also see that there's kind of a gray layer on top of everything. So I'm going to go more option, change colors, and I will remove these 6,000 polygons, just delete mesh. Just like that, I retrieved all the frames I lost. So as I said in the previous video, just removing surfaces that are useless on top of the real surfaces we need to use will help you a lot because it, like I said, it kind of remove uh, half the polygons to be rendered. So that's non-negligible. That's the first thing. Here in this case, I also don't need to have uh, kind of the floor they created. So I'm just gonna remove that beige color. So delete mesh, just like that. Perfect. So now I am I have one piece, but what we actually need is one piece for the rail and one piece for the carriage. So what I can do is right click linear rail and then split objects. I'm gonna close that here. I will also here hide my station reference frame and hide the linear rail. I'm gonna explain you why I'm gonna do that uh, in a few minutes. And then I can start either delete pieces or group pieces together. So I'm gonna delete here this section here of the cable management. I don't need to see it, so I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete this one here. Delete this one here. Delete this one here. Sometimes you will see there is kind of surface on top of surfaces. They might be hard to select, but it's always kind of possible to select them. Just kind of find this sweet spot. Okay, now I got it. I can delete it. Perfect. So when two surfaces are right on top of the other, like everybody has a hard time kind of knowing which one it should render. Uh, exactly. Okay, so that's great. So now let's say that we want to, like I said, just extract the rail from the carriage or vice versa. So what I'll do is I'll use my click, drag either towards the left or towards the right. So if I click drag towards the right, you will see a blue square appearing. If I remove or, or, or let go, in fact, it will select all the objects that were completely um, inside the blue rectangle. If I go the other way around and select a red rectangle like that here, it will select all the objects that are touching the red, uh, the red rectangle. So now I, here you can see in my station tree that there's a bunch of, oops, a bunch of objects that were selected in one shot. So if I right click, I can now merge those will take a few seconds and I will just make this invisible for now. So this way I have a bit more space to go and select this here. By the way, I can press control and select more than one shot. So just like that, can go for these ones here and uh, let's right click merge visible so that's cool so now i can go for the smaller details like that here like this here and let's do the same here 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 and here let's say right click merge Visible, perfect. Uh, you remember I showed, I asked you to make the station invisible in the rail uh, 3D model invisible. This is because if you were to select those with um, pieces of the 3D models you want to merge, you won't be able to right click and then merge because for the merge to appear, it, you need to only have one type of object selected. And in this case, you have kind of the uh, smaller chunks of a 
3D model, you have the 3D model and you have the station. So now the contextual menu, menu showing you how that you can merge won't appear. But if you unselect those, right click now, it's there under merge and then visible. So this is why I made you uh, make those invisible. So this way you just can't select them because RoboDK prevents you from selecting uh, invisible 3D objects. So that's, way, by the way, a very useful thing sometimes or anything that has uh, an alpha channel that is lower than 125 or half the, the value, the 255 value of the alpha channel, everything that is below half of it will be uh, impossible to select here in the 3D environment. So you can take advantage of that little fact here. So just like that, okay, now all of this needs to be set in one piece. So I'm gonna merge that here. So here I'm gonna call that the carriage. Right click, convert to object, like that here. Everything here is the rel. So I'm gonna merge that. So we have the linear rel here and we have the carriage. And I could later kind of animate one with respect to the other. So now I'm just actually moving the 3D model. It's not animated. It's not a it's not a rail in any stretch of the image imagination. But this way I own I at least have my two 3D models separately separated so that I can animate them uh, later down. So I'm using that all the time, like I said, to when I receive a station where that, that was an assembly. So there's a lot of pieces all bundled together so I can extract the pieces that I want and animate them the way I want and need. So, OK, that's pretty much everything for today's video. I hope you liked it. In the next one, we will learn how to use the measurement tool to its fullness. It's a very useful tool when you know how to play with it. And in any case, have a great day, guys.